Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about using our rotisserie in our Summit 470 and also how to get more flavor out of a prime rib. For grill setup, we want all the burners on high for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is going to bring the grill up to temperature. It's the most important step in all of barbecue. From there, we're going to turn the outside burners to low and we're going to turn the middle burners off. We're going to be using indirect heat and temperature somewhere around 300 to 325. Turn on the IR burner, we'll get our roast on. About 15 minutes, you'll get a nice crust to that prime rib. You'll turn the IR burner off and you'll finish it up with indirect heat. We've got our prime rib and our ingredients that are really gonna enhance the flavor. We're gonna score the outside of this roast and we're gonna insert fresh garlic, which will give it some amazing flavor. From there, we're gonna use a nice light coating of olive oil, which is gonna help the rest of the ingredients adhere to it. We have salt, pepper, and some fresh herbs that are really gonna help with that crust and really set this roast off. Our prime rib is ready. We have a rotisserie spit. We've got one set of forks on. We're gonna go through the middle of the prime rib. And you wanna make sure you do this because it's gonna help with it rotating evenly on the rotisserie motor. Now keep in mind we do not want to tighten down the forks completely because we might have to adjust the roast when it gets on the grill. We want to make sure it's directly in front of that IR burner. Now for grilling your prime rib, it's going to take about 15 to 17 minutes per pound. Just make sure you're only using that IR burner for the first 10 to 15 minutes. Take a look at this prime rib. The crust on it is amazing. And that's another reason why I love using the Summit Rotisserie Burner because it really helps caramelize the outside of the food we have on our grill. And we've also given you some great ideas on how to enhance and get more flavor out of the things we're putting on our barbecues. And I hope the next time you're thinking about something to do on your grill, you're able to utilize that rotisserie and get the same great results that you see here.